Hi guys, I went out to Thornbury today. Uh, let's think, one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's seven charity shops out there. Nothing, nothing that caught my eye at all. But at Thornbury, there's also the recycling centre where they sell items that are worth selling instead of recycling and I bought these there a couple of odd transmitters that one's infrared no idea if it's any good for anything but I never have any luck trying to match infrared transmitters to infrared cars or helicopters or anything like that so it's always handy to have a spare one, just to see if we can get anything to work with it. And then this one, 40 megahertz transmitter, no aerial, no idea if that battery's any good. I doubt, doubt it, light's not coming on, but I just thought handy to have and in the same box was this car I'll tell you a bit more about this but first of all I'll say how much I've spent here we are it's the receipt Revive Thornbury Sorted Centre I paid a pound total so that's the two receivers uh, transmitters and this car now I've done some searching on this car I've managed to find an old eBay link and a YouTube video now if you notice it's got sort of propellers on the wheels here and it's an amphibious car Somehow or other, these turned point straight back, and you propel the car with the propellers. It's 27 megahertz. I can't can't find anything on it that gives a maker's name, but having searched on Google and searched on YouTube. I uh, managed to match some pictures and on Google I found it's manufactured by Pool Master, as in swimming pool, Pool Master, or at least the one that I found was sold by Pool Master. I've just taken the screw out the back of the battery compartment on this infrared transmitter and those batteries are all corroded so I'm going to have to take them out before we can try them. Fresh batteries, LED on, so that's looking positive, don't know what all the buttons do, I wonder if it will speak to anything that I've got handy, I've got a helicopter down there, well it didn't work with either of the helicopters I've got downstairs, and I'm not going to spend time going through all my different infrared toys to see if it works with any of them I'll just put it in the box along with the other infrared transmitters and use it next time I've got one to try so happy with that at least the light comes on I've just put a battery in this transmitter and pinched the aerial off one of my other transmitters so we get light comes on and with this car, we get a bit of a response. I didn't get any response with one of the other cars I tried it with. But that shows promise. That can at least go in the junk pile. And it might work on another car. So that's good. So turn the... Ha, ha, ha. 